Hey, Chris Biffle, Coach B, three-step lesson on denominator. Mysterious sounding word. Let's unravel the mystery. First step, we just ask a question, what is a denominator? Second step, we give the answer. A denominator in a fraction shows all the parts in a whole. A denominator in a fraction shows all the parts in a whole. Now what's that mean? Let's expand that answer. We're going to look at numerators and denominators, but just paying attention to that denominator. Here's some fractions with denominators. So the denominator is 4. Say the denominator is 4. It's going to show all the parts in the whole. There's a numerator, 3. Here's another fraction, 2 over 3. 3 is the denominator showing all the parts in a whole. 1 over 2. 2 is the denominator showing all the parts in the whole. And don't have enough fingers for that one. But again, 19, that's the denominator. It's showing all the parts in a whole. Now let's expand that further. Watch. Look at that. Just pay attention to the denominator down here. You see that denominator is 4. That pizza originally had four parts. That was all the parts in the whole pizza was four. That pizza originally had three parts. Three. That's the number of parts in that whole original pizza. Three. Denominator. Look at the pizza. That pizza originally had two parts in the whole. The denominator shows you all the parts that were there in the whole. Denominator, all the parts in the whole. Only got one left now, but we're not worried about numerators. Denominator, all the parts in the whole. So, a denominator in a fraction shows all the parts in a whole. Mysterious word, unravel denominator. All the parts in that original whole. Deep thinking. Now, could the top number in a fraction be larger than the denominator, the bottom number in a fraction? Yes. No. Think about it. It's Coach B signing off, saying power to the kids.